What are the myths that surround multi-sensory rooms? There are things like, the one I read recently was, uh, this room will create a space where people can self-regulate, or this room will make people feel calm, this group of inanimate objects will do some magic thing. That's the myth. But like all good myths, there's a little bit of truth in it. And the truth is, we have seen magic in multi-sensory rooms, but it doesn't come from the stuff in the rooms. And the perpetuation of those myths leaves us asking questions like, what equipment do I need in my room? What activities should I do in my room? How should I best lay out my room? And the idea is that these questions lead us to the magic, but they don't, they lead us to the myth. And in this course, we're going to ask questions that lead us to the magic.